Hi there, folks. This is a this is another idea for Foxy on on our forum for remove for holding the pens in the Bible. If you can, I might just get that camera to move around because it takes a bit of bit of bending on it so if you can if I can get out of the bloody thing if you can have a look at where it's how it's shaped <laughs> you may have to <laughs> draw this down so you get an idea of how to bend the bloody thing. <laughs> it's a bit of bending, bending on it. This camera's fo not focusing properly either. The battery must be going down. But if you can get an idea of how you bend it around somehow like that, it's just out of a paper clip um, I'm not going to make one because the bends it'll be too long working the buggers out um, just flatten when you straighten it out either when you straighten it first or after you've done it before you bend that last one down flatten it out with a hammer and I think it's focusing on the camera. I just flattened that out with a hammer. Alright, so you start out with the paper clip. You can either bend it all up, but before you bend the last one down, flatten that down. And and uh, keep it straight. Well you'll have to straighten it up again because it'll curl up when you hit it with a hammer. But you gotta sort of straighten it back down again. Now just that camera back. Yeah, but it works. I I did this when I first started lock picking, and uh, but I don't get very many of these. You know, they're normally cut off when I get them. But I've, there's one here that's done. Um, so I've never actually used it. I just watched that video that Foxy had, had asked about. So, and I've just bent the ends on the end here so you can get it out. And you just press it in through it. Well, when you turn the thing uh, down to either 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, whatever, you just slip that in, push it in, and then slide the plug out. It's got pins in it. <laughs> I've never, I haven't taken the pins out of it, so I don't know if you can see in there. Let's see if I can try and get the camera in there, but you can see that the the flattened part is holding down the pins it actually works really well. It's another idea that I got off somebody me of three or four years ago or whatever um, and so I made one. I've never actually used it until now. This is the first time I've used it actually. <laughs> so that's how it sort of fits in there. But it holds itself there. Uh, won't fall off. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick video on that, just to give you, and just slide the plug back in. Just slides back in. Take that out, and you're back into business. Oh, you've got a. Of course, when you do that. You've got to um, 
give me a minute, you got to push the pins down to rotate the there and that's locked up again I don't know if I got that on camera now oh well tough shit you know how that goes anyway it's about trying to get all them bends So if you get an idea of how to bend it around, you can make your own. And it works really well, as I've just shown. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching that. Maru.